assist done, if I'm not mistaken, by four goals to two. Durich got a couple of goals, and then a Korean University team by a goal to nil, and drew with Vietnam to lift that cup for the team that scores first. I think they'll have the upper hand for the rest of the game. Can he keep it in place? Su Chao does a brilliant job. Here's the first opportunity for Thailand. Brilliant save. Superb goalkeeping by Hassan Sunny. He must have seen that shot from Pong Kamiya coming in very late. It goes out for a corner though. What a magnificent save. Uh, Hassan Sunny, we're just speaking about the guy. Needs to be on the top of his game. Look at this. That is a magnificent cross. And look. I mean, uh, Tonkanya did absolutely nothing wrong. It was a beautiful volley there, and a magnificent save by uh, Hassan Sunny. A very important one too. Play spread out wide very well. The cross comes in from Suti. Goes deep. Here's the chance for Thailand to take the lead. They take the handball. It is given by the referee. Penalty. And this is a nightmarish start for Singapore. Brian Robson has already celebrated. The good news for Singapore fans is that the last time Thailand were given a penalty was in a friendly match against Syria some weeks back and Teratip missed it. A yellow card for Noah Alan Shah. A great cross there, beautifully cut back and uh, I'd like to see that a little bit closer but it might have been Alan Shah actually. If the ball did go to hand there's a definite penalty because it probably stopped it going in there. Well, there might not be lots of arguments with the penalty, but maybe the yellow card for Alam Shah will mean he'll miss a Wednesday's matchup, rematch between these two sides. But Thailand has an opportunity now to have the first say of this crucial Asian Cup qualifier. Of all people, Suti Suk Som Kit. <laughs> Guess his thing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Against Hassan Sunny. Tampanese teammates to Suti's move to Melbourne victory and it's the Thai player who puts Thailand into an early lead against Singapore. Yeah, deserved lead, uh, uh, lead uh, Mark. You know, first couple of minutes Singapore started very well, but then the last eight, nine minutes it's been uh, all Thailand and they look, they look very, very impressive going forward and they're keeping the ball and they've been very, very patient with it. Well done to them. Great take there by Suti, sending Hassan Sunny the, the wrong way. It's not easy to take a penalty against your former teammate. <laughs> well, it's his 17th goal and that's the reaction from Brian Robson. Hasn't had much success as a manager back here from Singapore and the spirits will be up and soaring yet again. Wilkinson, that's a very good early first ball offside though, called by the assistant referee. Very unfortunate. But uh, a good ball played in by Johnny Wilkinson. Beautiful ball by Johnny. Uh, at first look, uh, Alex was with the formation, but uh, with the energy levels too. Yeah, the ties have just running ragged. Their movement has been uh, fantastic. Uh, it's number two. Yeah. Somehow, Hassan Sunny got to it. It was onside. He was uh, way onside there. He <laughs> That's too far and behind. Was, uh, right? Any, any uh, knockback, it's, uh, it's a tie player's ball. Good ball by Noah Alam Shah. Here's Mohamed Ridwan. Shot at there. Will the goalkeeper touch it? No, says the referee. He dived to ensure it and they worked very hard. They scored a couple from set pieces against Indonesia. What can Saifulisa do with this? Oh, it's floated. <laughs> might have shocked the goalkeeper. The delivery though wasn't too good, but it might have turned into a fortunate goal. <laughs> and uh, that's probably the only disappointment from Brian Robson, but he would be happy that they won zero up and the tendency with them. They're lining up for the shot. Straight at the goalkeeper though, Singapore still haven't cleared it yet, they have to now. They still have with him that time, not returning the pass. Two minutes off at a time. Durich trying to work something out for Wilkinson here. Wilkinson trying to put the ball back in, asking for a penalty. The referee says no. Yeah, he's been very disappointed so far. They've been very disappointed with the set pieces. Delivery hasn't been great. That's a really good one. It was close, with two Thai players getting to it. Every Singaporean went near post, but the Thais knew Suti was going to swing it right outside. It was so close to number 2 nil. And as I said that, he puts on a magnificent ball in there, and it should have been 2 nil. I don't know, oh, I don't know what the, how the Singapore defending was there. That was just all over the place, and uh, thank God he got underneath and lobbed it over. Should have been, and there's, and he would have. Yes. <laughs> In his days, he would have he would have he would have gobbled that one. He was magnificent. Head of the ball, Brian Robson.
and Brian Robson's team does lead Singapore 1-0 at halftime. Will they be made to rue their missed opportunities, especially at the end of that first half? What will Radhi Abramovich do when Singapore come back for the second? The answers will be revealed pretty shortly. Very much so. They were all, uh, all over the shop uh, uh, in the first 10 minutes and you can see the Thai boys just playing the ball around and uh, they're moving off the ball magnificent. You can see this beautiful cut back there. Great shot there by Tonkanya and a magnificent save by Hassan Sani to keep it 0-0. Yep, that's right. If it's not for Hassan Sani, it could have been much worse. And this is the incident that led to the penalty. Yeah, great ball there by, I think it was uh, Socha. Uh, good cut back by Tonkanya and uh, Tonglao uh, volleyed it. Well, maybe Daniel Bellick will probably tell you he could have, uh, you know, uh, got it off the line, but definite handball there by uh, Alam Shah, I think it was. Yes, Alam Shah, and it resulted in him getting a yellow card, which will mean that he's suspended for the return leg against Thailand, but a good penalty by Suti. Yeah, beautiful, uh, beautifully taken there by uh, Suti. Very uh, cool, calm, and uh, sent Hassan Sunny the, the wrong way, and a deserved 1 0 lead, and you can see the happiness on uh, Brian Robson uh, in the first 15 minutes. You were talking about those half chances that Singapore had in the first half. It was really half chances, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, this is 35 metres out. I mean, OK, I, I said it's not a bad thing, but Ruddy's not happy because he wants the ball out wide to Ridwan to get the crosses in. But uh, I, want, I don't mind the, guy, uh, the defenders or, or even uh, the midfielders having a pot shot there like Ridwan did from here. That's as close as they got. Both Duic and Alam Shah will be moaning about the fact that they haven't had much service up front. No, the service has been uh, terrible for them. I mean, it's just been high, high balls. But look at this move here by the Thai boys. Beautiful play to Tunglao. Great shot and uh, well done Hassan Sunny again. But the ball continues again. And you talk about the shaky Singapore defence. Uh, we'll see that final opportunity in a short while after. We have a look at this. Could he have taken a shot there? Uh, maybe, but you know, uh, to be fair to Johnny, the ball uh, came at him very, very quickly and uh, got on the wrong foot there. And that's just desperation to get a handball, but it wasn't. But this is probably the best chance for to make it 2-0. And a big miss there by uh, number eight there, Su Chao. And you can see uh, the disgust in Brian <laughs> Robson's reaction there because that would have been game over with 2-0. Absolutely. Singapore, though, have to come back and they need to start the second half in a much brighter fashion than they did. Look at that for possession of a 70 to 30 Thailand. That's, yeah, that's that's incredible. Uh, and they're playing away, you know, and, uh, you know, to get that much possession and they, they won't be too happy with just a goal lead with 70% possession. So uh, they want to build up on that. And the only fortunate thing for Singapore is it's only what the only one nil down and there's uh, plenty of time 45 minutes to get back and hopefully uh, turn around second half and that second 40 you almost don't notice him on the pitch but he goes through a lot of great work Natapong Sanamana good cross inside climbing all over Saiful Isa that's Terasin Danga the referee spotted that and the whistle was blown even before he could hit the ball downwards Abramovich there, uh, not Alam Shah, he's a little bit off his game but more importantly he's on a yellow card and uh, a shot from Thailand beaten out by the goalkeeper Hassan Sunny yet again, he's been in splendid form tonight. Super save there by Hassan Sunny and just too much. Uh, stepping in at the right time, stripping the ball away from Dangda but back to Thai's come and look at the time there before it ever again, just wide. <laughs> That's a Khan Tong Lao. My goodness, so when will the Singapore team in the second half? Here he is, Cairo Lumbri, going very wide to support. Saifu Lisa back to Cairo Lumbri. Nice ball played inside to Durich. Good little touch for Wilkinson. Oh, why didn't he take a shot? Why didn't he take that shot, John Wilkinson? It might have been the left foot, but even if it was something to make the goalkeeper work, why didn't he take it? It was beautiful play there by, by Cairo and Alex. And uh, with Johnny, and uh, I think Johnny's trying to cut it. Uh, cut it.